So in that regard, they both very expensive projects like Manhattan level projects. Which was the nuclear bomb project. Right. The difference between the two technologies is that nuclear weapons are still tools. Some dictator, some country, someone has to decide to use them, deploy them, whereas superintelligence is not a, is not a tool, it's an agent. It makes its own decisions and no one is controlling it. I cannot take out this dictator and now superintelligence is safe. So that's a fundamental difference to me. But if you're saying that it is going to get incrementally cheaper, like I think it's Moore's law, isn't it? That the technology gets cheaper. It is. Then there is a future where some guy on his laptop is going to be able to create superintelligence without oversight or regulation or employees, etc. Yeah, that's why a lot of people suggesting we need to build something like a um, surveillance planet where you are monitoring who's doing what and you're trying to prevent people from doing it. Do I think it's feasible? No. At some point, it becomes so affordable and so trivial that it just will happen. But at this point, we're trying to get more time. We don't want it to happen in five years. We want it to happen in 50 years. 